box them. Okay, okay, box. for sure. Right, right. Okay, okay. Uh, I didn't, I didn't understand that. But okay, so listen. So, does this make sense? All right. So here's a situation that I, I was looking at the other day. So this guy supposedly said that um, I guess these kids doxed him or whatever, and he tried to take it to the police. And he got like, I guess this big, like all the police involved, whatever. And they basically told him like, it's not doxing. They found your, 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 your information on a public site where your information was. So you, and someone had to put your information there already. And they said they couldn't do shit about it. But it also okay. depends on what state you live in. And again, Fact. Florida has really big rules against cyber stalking. So does California. Yeah, so that. does, so, so yeah, does I know Georgia. Sa California's crazy with that shit for sure. They don't play. So yeah, hell no. Again, California definitely don't play with that shit. Again, it's doxing. When you put uh, someone's information out there on a platform that they did not put their information out on. Like what Nicki Minaj with the barbs are doing is doxing. So, taking so, people's so, information that nobody knows, taking people's information that nobody knows, and then posting it to social media for people to see. Okay, with how their address and their phone number. So so you know how you say how you say it's illegal in certain states, correct? Because Georgia the cops in Georgia, when I when I put my case in, they didn't tell me any of that. They didn't sit there and say, Well, there's nothing we can do about this. Right. They didn't say that. They took they told they told me to send me everything that they ha that i have that's what they told me so 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 what about so if somebody doxes you from a state where it's not illegal what is it like how does that work i don't i don't know i'm not a lawyer i would have to go and ask my brother he's the lawyer i can speak to him about it and i can update you guys how yeah, about that because that? that, that's, that's a question i got i don't sure. want to spew wrong information so i can definitely ask my brother and see yeah no saying. and i ain't coming here on no know-it-all shit at all i just I, I was i was curious honestly of course, I, I don't know, but I feel like you could either probably file where it happened, so where the person that did it is at, and then file to where you're a resident at. So maybe right. if it's a situation where where they did it at, it's not uh, illegal, but it is, and you're you probably can like you know change press charges through file. your state. Maybe yeah. maybe you I don't press know, but I, that might be for yeah. sure. For sure, hell yeah, that, it makes sense. Damn man. Uh, this NF this NFL leaf shit is crazy. I've been seeing this shit everywhere. That shit is disgusting. It like, is. I don't, even, I don't pay attention to them. Like every time I seen their videos, I just like swipe past because I don't find it entertaining because it's a bunch of kids doing nothing. You get what I'm saying? So it's like I never and then now I just see all the drama and shit they got going. And that, that Nike dude, I know he is scammer. Absolutely. He he's super, taking the same bro. bro all of these oh people God. are scammers, bro. All of these people are scammers. He's taking the same uh the same little formula that all these other people on here were doing and he's trying to come up off of it and that's why i was like yeah y'all don't even waste your time with this one I don't even waste your time don't day. even bother getting into it i told my pops the other day like i'm finna quit my job and just get on tiktok <laughs> please i'm telling you bro at this you point, might as well and matter of fact if everybody quits their job and goes to tiktok then these motherfuckers are not gonna have no money <laughs> so real. then they'll be forced they'll be forced to go get a job hey you for, for real though you hear me no bullshit they'll be Shit. forced to get a job and it's like people be so gullible it's like the signs are so clear and people just fall for it i don't blame you know i don't blame everybody for being gullible because not everybody has like the spirit of discernment and also Thanks. the simple fact that the simple fact that some people just have really good hearts and they mm -hmm. want to help people and people take advantage of that you know like people that get taken true. advantage but then it's also, and that's that's the main problem that i don't there's like people out here that really really do need the help rather than Absolutely. you going on social media and adding your debit card to take money off to give to someone you get me like it's right it's i feel like you want to help someone go to a homeless shelter and invest you know what i'm saying go drop some clothes off at the goodwill or you but know? you know it's a little bit it's like an easy like you know one two it's just like when i'm yeah. on the streets and i'm and i'm and i'm driving and i see a homeless person i see a black homeless person because i only yeah. give to black homeless people by the way i know he I'm he racist, heavy so on shopping. that but I, try to keep, I try to keep my dollar i try to keep my dollar in my community because florida be different y'all florida's racist as hell and yeah, I gotta make yeah sure I my, heard. my people straight i gotta make sure my community's straight but right. say I, i'm driving and there's a homeless man a black homeless man or a black homeless woman and they asking for a dollar or something if i got a little dollar or whatever you feel me i'm gonna go ahead and give them the fucking yeah dollar. you feel me if and i, and I did my little can. i did my little gate i did my little deed you feel me i did my little one two and i had a good i feel good about it you know i really gave back to my community and that's For that sure. and it was a simple it was a simple one two it wasn't yeah. two. so i feel like some of these people be like okay they scrolling they it see is somebody what it on is, the right? internet struggling right they see somebody on the internet struggling they're like damn let me help them out they help them out and you know they mm -hmm. they take advantage of that they take advantage of the people that are helping them out and that's fucked up because these people don't have to help you these people go to work every day and clock in and they're like you know what i got a little extra let me get yeah exactly but then it's like it's also also i i noticed like i noticed people who 
who who see these people on TikTok, they they feel like they're going through what they've been through, so they feel like I don't know if I it should, I should say obligated, but they feel like they gotta help. Like when they was uh, at a point where you know they was uh, you know trying to keep on their feet or something, they went. Yeah. So they thinking like, okay, if I didn't have nobody to help me, I wouldn't be where I am. So let me like, right. hey, let me go. Me. Give me, yeah, exactly. Exactly. And they get taken advantage of. And I'll be the person to tell you, hey, sweetheart, they're taking advantage of you. They're playing yeah, with you. Real. Wake up because they're playing with you. I'm going to tell you. If nobody else yeah. is going to tell you, me too. Definitely. Gonna tell you. Okay. Definitely for sure. I definitely will put bring anything to light that I feel like is in the dark for real. Absolutely. Or if someone is lying and I know you lying and you scam oh, yeah, people for out sure. of hard on bread, bro. I'm talking <laughs> on you. You tripping. I'm telling. I'm telling everybody, especially the people black. You like, take it from my black sisters. <laughs> you playing you playing in my black sisters' faces. My black sisters are going out of their way to really help you come up and you playing in my black sisters' faces when they got kids to feed too. For yeah, real. they got when they Many got they kids might to not. Feed. That they probably themselves, like they might, they probably didn't have no, they probably had extra money and wanted to help just because like, you know, they, they may not have had extra for real. Like it just was money that they just didn't need for something, but they feel right. like they're going to move something around because they want to help you because you you're right. worse off than them. They not really up for real, but they, but you look like you worse off. So they up yeah. there moving stuff around trying to help and you lying the whole time. For sure. A hundred percent. Like that shit is so fucked up. Like, you know, it's but, and it's like. I don't care what nobody say. A guilty conscience is a real thing. Like, like, I don't know how people do it. Like, I'd be feeling shitty. Like, damn. Bro, I would feel terrible. Like, imagine this, you taking advantage. It like, takes so much effort to do it. Like, Nike it does, literally it goes a outside lot of effort to lie. with two jackets to say he's homeless. And then they, all of a sudden, he pops up in a room. The same room. Oh, oh You have to run. Or he'd be, or he be in, or he'd be outside. He'd be on the bathroom floor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, huh? And I feel like, too, I wouldn't even want to play like that with lying because. Yeah, I feel like it'll happen. You, your, I feel your like mouth God is too gonna powerful. Use me. He going to make an example out of me. I done sit up here and lie and told these people I ain't yeah. have nothing. Um, I'm homeless. I be done. Yep. God blessed to move into an apartment, and then this thing, you know, you know, it catch on fire or something. Like, yeah, your feel, mouth is powerful. I feel like lines would catch up. I promise you, for real though. It it's just like up. sleep. You ever tried to fake sleep and you end up falling asleep for real? Like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> for real though. I'm fucking dead. That's facts. Yeah, man. that's facts. But y'all have yeah, a good one, man. I'm finna go back into work, man. Y'all have a good day, man. Good conversation. You have a good day too. Thank you too. Y'all to follow real quick. All right, man. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. Y'all got like a got about ten more minutes out of me because I gotta go to class. You feel me? I gotta mm -hmm. go to class, and I'm gonna be late because, bitch, I need my hair done for the the concert tonight. I'm not going to this concert without my hair done. So that class is just gonna have to wait. My lab is just gonna have to wait. Okay. <sighs> Oh my God, I just hope these people come around. I hope y'all come around. I hope y'all stop wasting y'all money on these people who, who just are lazy and don't want to help themselves. Like, I hope you guys, you know, give to people who actually need it. It's just so crazy to me that people look down on the homeless people in their city all the time, but will give to somebody over the internet who's lying and scamming. Somebody who's That's able able body and minded again from what we can see we don't know for sure but it's they able body really they sure as hell they sure as hell able body everybody on this fucking on this shit is able body every picture that i got up here they able body people they just don't give a fuck mm. they do not give a fuck <sighs> put my clothes in oh child let me read the comment real quick. It says Taya swears she's coming back every night to Basel and make money on her own. She don't come back. Child, she <laughs> Taya is a liar, bro. She be fucking lying. But hers is like I said, hers is easy. Hers is easy to see through because it's it don't even yeah. She's not good at lying. That's what it is. And what caught me is when her mom, I think one time her mom got on there. I don't know if that was a real page, but her mom saying like she wants her to get help. Um, you know, her daughter's going through a lot. This and that. That's when it's like, okay, when the family gets to the point where they don't want to help, to me, that's like letting you know, like, okay, they yes. know this for a while. That's been majority of them, all of them, from B to to the fucking the the storage unit 
couple all the way down to fucking Shay, their family members are fucking tired, bro. Like, B said that I found her family members when I really was just hosting a live one day and her grandmother and uncle stumbled into my live. Wait, who? Which ones? The one at the top. The one in the oh, red yeah, with the okay. bottom. I heard you tell, okay, I heard you tell that part, okay. Her, uh... Like, her grandmother and her uncle, like, came into my live. Like, I didn't call for your fucking people. I don't... How was I supposed to find your fucking people, girl? I didn't even know your real name at the time. How the fuck... I thought your name was probably Brittany or some shit, because your, your name started with the letter B. And so, in that, I wonder, like, she kind of isolated, like, because her family don't want to help no more. She don't be with her family, so she just kind of be with her man, the Javi dude, and then her son. That's it. Because her family probably, like, wash their hands of her yeah they did her grandma got up here and said her dad stopped talking to her because he she all she kept asking for was money her grandma said that in my life hold on y'all my boyfriend sent me a message here. take notes you lying <laughs> Why my mom just texted me talking about some, uh, make sure I wear sneakers tonight just in case I got to run because we going to a Travis Scott concert. She's hilarious. <gasps> no. Yes. She's fucking hilarious. Oh my God. She ain't lying. Lucky for, lucky for us, it's a stadium. <laughs> it's not an open field. Yeah, because he can't be trusted with that no more. <laughs> uh. Kiara, girl, you ain't see that they was asking for one thousand four hundred dollars. Oh, for somebody? No, she's sub leasing right now. She said, "Who would let her sub? Did they not? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> what? They didn't learn from the enchanting situation at all." And watch her. Watch what's gonna happen, you guys. If you guys get her into this apartment, she's gonna come up here. She's gonna beg for the money for, for March. She's gonna beg for the rent money for March. She's not gonna have the money. She's going to then get on the live and sit there because the person's gonna kick her out. They're gonna evict her because she's not sending the rent money. Then she's gonna get on live and she's gonna say, oh, these people literally scammed me or they're terrible. They took advantage of me, blah, 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 blah. The, the one at the top to the left, she's gonna come back tipsy all on. But I would damn near rather her, I guess, help her with the sublease. Then they probably spending more on giving her hotels than than it is to get just rent for. Home. No, they're gonna be they're gonna be paying they're gonna be paying for that damn rent. That y'all are tricks, bro. That is what we call a trick, people. You paying for somebody rent? That's a trick. But I'm saying it's cheaper than them paying for her hotel, though, once you add it all up, though, probably. If they're going to trick, they might as well trick um effectively. Hey, all I got to say is they just told everybody to go do what they need to do because they going to come back and they about to. She said she about to go feed Connor and let him play. She pretty much saying that shit like she about to walk a dog. <laughs> is that baby not in school? What's today? Ain't t yeah, today's Wednesday. Is no, he doesn't go to school. He doesn't go to school, you guys. He, he goes go to, to the school. school of Honda Element. Oh! <laughs> he does not. He does not go to school. That's our point. That's one of the main reasons why people got a problem. The baby does not go to school. <laughs> Homeschool or something. Yeah. No, they they said that they originally said that he was homeschooled, and they said that he goes to he's homeschooled and goes to an alternative school. But my thing is, is I don't know any elementary schools that are alternative schools. His homework mm -hmm. consists of coloring on coloring books and on the tablet. That's the yeah. But she they only um, raised one hundred and twenty six. They said that they're gonna break it up in increments because they gotta have the money by tonight. Ink that. They think they finna get fourteen hundred dollars, but they be getting it in like that. I don't want to hear that because I'm moving in March and I'm gonna need y'all to bring up a hundred and um one thousand four hundred dollars too. I'm since y'all raising money like that. Since y'all raising money like that and y'all got it like that. They just getting it in a few hours for people that don't work. Well, they who willingly so. 
Pardon? What'd you say, Jazz? They said that they about to be on all day. I think they really about to drink and smoke that money up for real. They definitely are. Damn, she was still panhandling online. Yes, girl. Yes, child. Yeah, I can understand can. Shay a little bit more because I think Shay, I um, I can't diagnose nobody. We got to host the lives. Uh, we got to host the live. We got to raise money for our move-ins because people are literally funding move-ins. So if y'all are funding move-ins like that, then I'm gonna get on the board too. The only difference is is that y'all just got to get me in for the first month. I got the rest. I'm about to say yeah, if y'all can. <laughs> Since y'all just want to be generous, just the deposit. Y'all ain't got to do the whole you thing. Y'all ain't even got to do the whole thing. Y'all can deposit. just help me get in. And if they said they, okay, so is they rent um $700 a month? Because if they need $1,400, and they don't need the first month in. And, and no, the so it's going to be fourteen. It, it costs $1,400 because they're subleasing. So they're just literally paying the person the rent. Oh, it's not okay. It's, mm -hmm. I don't even know how to but subleasing, you still on paper. So if they don't pay, they still can be held. Um, no. So subleasing, when they sublease, they're illegally subleasing. So they're not they're not doing actual subleasing where you would go to the leasing office. There's no way that she can, you know. So that so basically the whoever is subleasing her, there's no way they can really hold her liable if she. Yeah. Um. Know. So like basically so if she doesn't pay the rent like it's gonna fall on them that's what happened with the enchanting situation that's why enchanting and her fell out and that's why okay, she had to get the fuck out of her her thing she must have just met them off of like a little facebook ad or something because there's no way they looked into her or her what she did before and there's just no way unless they got the apartment on the cpn so they don't care if it messes up their credit because it's not they got the they about to raise that and they still locked out of their storage unit crazy and then also um you know like after like 10 days of not being at your storage unit and you're locked out they sell your stuff right oh uh, i didn't they know sell your, they they sell your stuff if you're like 10 days late they remove your things and they sell it because they need to get the money for their fucking storage unit i thought it, it took a few months or something i don't know i no if you're like late like 10 days they'll warn you and then like then like i think like a month because in, in florida i know it's like a month of storage unit time once you're late a month that's it like i was about to say um yes it is actually a real hustle to like buy storage units and people make a lot of money off of that mm -hmm. so they need to figure out that being locked out of a storage unit is crazy especially because like the storage unit costs like what 60 something dollars a month yeah if not depending on where you are it's not cheaper and the storage unit couple, like the ones that got kicked out, I'm I'm really not mad at the finesse. Do what you got to do. It's the fact like you messed up your situation. You was flexing it because you found like a loophole and a way to live, I guess, cheaper. And then you messed it up. Like how you, you messed yourself up, basically. I think they literally did it for sympathy. I think they knew they were going to get kicked out because it's literally illegal to live in a storage unit. Can you can I ask a question about? one of the people on the screen who's the girl in the red hoodie because i'm not aware of that's only be aware savage of... so what does she do she's a fucking scammer she also <laughs> doxed me she doxed me from ex for exposing that she scams people and she lies about what she's doing with her income and she literally sat there lied on her mod she did revenge corn on her mods by okay. sending her boyfriend pictures of these girls in their underwear and bra <laughs> that they shared amongst a group chat of women and then since the then he sent the photos to one of the mods baby daddy making it seem like the woman was coming after him or coming at him right so <laughs> there's that it's just so deep like y'all gotta check out the reddit like i gotta go to class so i can't even like really get into everything right now you feel me but y'all gotta check out the reddit these people are scammers they're liars they're deceivers they're gonna ask you for bread and things like that when you're not giving money they're pissed okay if you ask them if they want to get if you ask them about the job um look up on google just type in be savage reddit and it's gonna pop up trust 
Okay, because people in the chat asking you to do a rundown of each box. So I don't know how. I did that, y'all. I did that. Like, she did earlier. I did that earlier. I did that yesterday. Y'all gonna have to come. But back y'all later really on. don't even have to. I'll say about the Reddit, you really don't even have to like take hours and deep dive too deep. If you really just go in there, Reddit's just period in the um lounge area or whatever they call it, and just scroll like that. Really kind of tells you a lot too. You don't even have to like open each each thread or form or whatever. And like to be honest, I promise you, you guys can just start from the bottom. With like, B Savages Reddit, it's easy because it's kind of new. It's pretty new, so there isn't a lot of like you know um, information. Like Shay's Reddit, Shay has Shay's Reddit has like two K people in it, two K members. But um, B Savages Reddit only has like two hundred something members. So you guys can scroll all the way to the bottom and start from the bottom and go up, and you guys will literally see everything that we've been talking about. There are text messages in there. I'm gonna give you guys the rundown. There are text messages in there between her and Enchanting about the situation when Enchanting gave her an apartment and she took the apartment, didn't pay Enchanting the rent and basically almost got an eviction on Enchanting because Enchanting did the same thing that this person is trying to do for her. She subleased an apartment to her and the girl basically threw out Enchanting's furniture. She was late on paying the rent and Enchanting ended up having to come out of pocket and pay for that. Um, all of that. So where do these mods come from? What mods? The mods. You said what? No, somebody was like, where do these mods come from? But people be putting anybody as their mod, for real. But, um, but yeah, so, you know, there was all of that that was going on with the enchanting situation. And then um, basically there's text messages between her and her mods where her mods get to start realizing that they're trying to help her figure out a way to get like a job and be able to work and also you know because her excuse for not working was that at first you know connor you know she had to watch connor and she didn't have anybody to watch connor and that daycare was too expensive so the girls were like hey if you put him in regular schooling you know you could at least go to work during the day while he's at school or because you have a man who isn't working right now you can go work because Javi's healing from whatever quote unquote incident that he had. And you can um you can go get a job while while he watches Connor for you. So at least you have some income coming in plus what we're giving you and you guys can get back on your feet. No, that wasn't good enough for B. B said, No, she's not gonna do that. There's also text messages of her basically, you know, telling them like she's not gonna do that and that she doesn't want to do that. She doesn't dream to work and that if they knew that about her, then they wouldn't come to her with none of that shit. They don't want she doesn't want any resources. Um, she she doesn't do plan B's and she doesn't live her life on what ifs. So that's what she said. The one at the top and the at the top, the very first box. Um, then there are text messages as well of her literally because both of their mods, Javi used to get on live too. He would be on live begging as well. So her nigga used to get on live begging. And um, his his live was full of a lot of women. You know, there were women in his live and they were giving to him. And he didn't want those women to know that he was with B, but their fans both started to realize that the hotel looks kind of similar to the one that each of them was staying in. So the fans started asking them, hey, do you guys know each other? And Javi was lying and saying that he did not know B. So there are text messages between B and her mods of her basically, you know, um, talking about how he doesn't want anybody to find out. And her mods are basically telling her like, hey, we think you should tell your fans and tell them the truth because, you know, once they find out, they're going to stop giving to you and you don't want him to fuck up your bread. And she was like, no, he doesn't want to do that. It's going to make him mad and I don't want to do that, blah, 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 whatever, whatever, this, that, and the third. Eventually, eventually, people started putting two and two together. Their mods found, like their people, fans found out that they were scamming, they were lying because what they would do is, is they used to go, they used to go, um, Javi used to go downstairs and go outside of the hotel while B would stay inside the hotel and beg for money, he would be outside begging for money. So they didn't want people to know that they were in cahoots with this whole entire thing. They were basically just lying. They were scamming people. Like, I don't know how to like put this into words, but there's so much more. Like all the text messages, the voice notes, all of that is in there. If you guys want to go check it out. And so now he can't do it on his own no more though, because everybody knows. 
Yeah, so no, he his live got, ended up getting permanently banned or whatever. So he can't get into that page. So he made a second page, but he had been going live with B and they've been begging together. But now that she has new followers, which are the barbs from the videos that she's been making, she's trying to spin the narrative again. Oh, for the new people, because they don't know. Oh, wow. Yes. So she preys on like her new people. So no, who doesn't know her? And, and then her old OGs, who are like her mods, who are dumb and they're still giving to her. A proud mother of seven. So, yeah. Y'all just be aware of these people, for real. Let me pack up my bag. I gotta go. Haley said, I used to send her food bank. She could have. Haley, did she say she went to them or what? You said, hell nah, she ain't go to them. So you sent, sent whole resources in. She just said, thank you. I, I know you lying. She can't be that hungry. I sent her 500 one time because of her. Ooh. Tell about, but you know, you going to, you know, you going to get that. You going to get that back. That's, you know, nothing wrong with being a good person. Just, yeah. Just try to be a little bit maybe more selective next time the girl with the pink background i agree told that yeah she, yeah that other one My flash y'all. All right. Trying to pack up over here for school. Shit, charitable. Ciao. Listen, I can't make this shit up to y'all. Y'all be careful who the fuck y'all send y'all money to and y'all coins to. Okay? And you got $500 to spare for real, girl? If you got $500 to spare like that, let me hold something. I'm in school, okay? <laughs> let me hold something. I had to quit my full-time job to go part-time. Because I had to go back to school. So let me hold something. It's just in a blessing mood. You know? Since that's what you're doing. Where's my lab coat? Her, um, if her family, about family and if her kid father was involved, she told me not. That's the, yes. Where are these children? Where are these children's fathers at? Um, she actually took the kid from the daddy. But, you know, I heard that the daddy isn't all that great of a person. So... I don't know too much information about him, but I do know that she went and stole the kid from the dad. Oh, what? And the, I didn't know that the Taya girl, I didn't know she was pregnant like right now. I thought they were talking about her like one or two year old. I didn't know she was currently. No, she's currently pregnant. Mm hmm. So people have been paying for her, her to get a hotel so she can hunk in that hotel and have another baby that she really can't take care of. <laughs> okay. These people do not be giving a fuck and they be laughing in our faces. They be laughing in our faces. Hee hee ha ha. They need to raise money for her. Okay. I Okay. Her body, her choice, but they need to raise money for her to get maybe some t some things tied up. Okay. No. She, she, needs to, she needs to get on some birth control. With Medicaid, birth control is free. Yes, I'm surprised that they even aren't making sure she's doing like some preventative measures. I don't know if they do that, but if she already has a caseworker for the other kids, I wonder how they take the news or how they hint when she can impregnate again. Sorry. I agree question mark I I think it's I feel like it's child abuse to have children that you know you can't take care of 